Welcome to our initial grad fashion show meeting. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Miss Riccio. This is my first year teaching at Mavis Butley. When I was hired to teach drama and fashion studies, Mr. Stambaugh told me that I would be responsible for this grad fashion show. Hey. Hey. The grad fashion show is a tradition that was established by Mrs. Blenheim back over 25 years ago, back when some of your parents may have attended this school. So, this year, I'd like to establish a new tradition, a grad play, to be performed in conjunction with the grad fashion show. So, I'm gonna introduce Malcolm McTavish to tell us about it. Malcolm. Hi, so um, I'm Malcolm McTavish. Um, I'm not sure how many of you know me. Everybody knows you, Malcolm. Let's get on with it. Okay, okay, don't rush me. So um, I'm sure all of you here, well, all of you who are lucky enough to be in Mr. Cameron's class will remember the fantastic puppet play that was performed two years ago. It was the butterfly and the princess. It, it was really cool. Remember it? Like you had that like three-headed dragon and, and there was like that weird caterpillar. Thing. Like, <laughs> Get to the point, Malcolm. Melanie, will you let me finish? Melanie. So, as I was saying, this year's first ever grad production will be a puppet play based on A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. The script will be written by the same two sum who brought us The Butterfly and the Princess, Travis Trask and Chantal Boscombe. Hey! Can I say something? Yes, Sean. I'm a little worried. We're ruining a great tradition here. I mean, my mom went to this school and she was a friend of Mrs. Blenheim's. Miss Blenheim spent 25 years of her life building up this grad fashion show. And now, just because she retired, you wanna not do it anymore? Like, what's with that? We're not changing the fashion show, Sean. We're, we're just adding to it. I just think that we should be a little more respectful of Mrs. Blenheim. Puppet play is a little inappropriate. What do you know about respect? Melanie, please raise your hand before speaking. Excuse me? Sean Docker giving lectures on respect. What a joke. Melanie, please sit down. Better mind your own business, Melanie. The only reason you don't want to see the puppet play succeed is because you've got a hate on for Travis and Chantel. Excuse me? And since when is your mother a friend of Mrs. Blenheim's? Mrs. Blenheim has kicked you out of her class so many times, she ran out of suspension slips. Melanie, a zip code. That will be quite enough. Keep opening your mouth, Melanie. Somebody's liable to park a fist in it. Please excuse the interruption. With Sean Docker, Todd Wingate, Cameron Coldale, please come down to the office. Sean, Cameron, Todd, office, now. Melanie, would you like to join the boys in the office? Okay, Travis and Chantel are working on the script. Malcolm has offered to write the music. So we'll need an orchestra. Can anyone play an instrument? Great. Malcolm, can you use any extra musicians? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> and we'll need a choir. Can anyone sing? Great, perfect. And finally, Travis and Chantel will need help with the puppets. Midsummer Night's Dream has a lot of characters. Anyone want to help Travis and Chantel? Anyone? I will. Great. <laughs>
I don't know, Mac. It'll only be for a couple hours. Travis, what do you think? Okay, we won't go into your clinic. We'll stay in the music room. And Mom said she'd be home by 6. Is it all right if I make a snack? Uh, I don't think so. Why not? Because it's not polite to eat in front of your guests. I'll make some for them, too. Thanks, Dad. Oh, and Malcolm, don't forget to make supper. I'll have filet mignon, asparagus, uh, some of those little baby potatoes. Maybe crack a bottle of that Melbeck that Mom bought today. And some dinner rolls. Hope you guys are hungry. Uh, dig in. I'll be right back. Hey. Hey. Sorry I'm late. I had to go home and tell my mom. Oh, come on in. Wow. So um, if, if we use music for the poetry parts, I think the audience will like it. Like it? They're going to love it. Travis, what do you think? I love it. Ever? That's fantastic. <laughs> so uh, Chantel, do you want to give it a try? Oh, sorry. I don't sing. Uh, well, you're playing the part of Helena, aren't you? No. Who said anything about me playing Helena? Oh, OK. Amber, how about you? Oh, well, I'm not singing. I'll do the puppet part, but I won't sing. Well, uh, somebody's got to play the part of Helena, and it's not going to be me. Travis? Come in. You guys want a little snack? I just made some marshmallow cherry surprise, but once the kids get home, it'll be all gone. Thanks, Auntie Kit. That sounds great. What do you say, Chantal? That sounds great. Be back in a flash. Ow! Are you okay? How are we supposed to get all of this done in time for grad? Oh, relax. We've got a year. Okay, you have to finish the script. I have to make, like, a dozen puppets. And what about Malcolm? What about Malcolm? He has to compose all of the music by himself, and then he has to practice with the orchestra, and then he has to rehearse with the singers. I... Can I ask you something? Mm hmm Do you even think that Malcolm likes our play? Malcolm, Malcolm, Malcolm. All you ever talk about is Malcolm. You know something? I think you're falling for him. I'm fa... I'm... What is that supposed to mean? Oh, no, no, I mean... It's like in A Midsummer Night's Dream when Puck gives everyone a magic love potion. It's like, yeah, it's like that. Uh, like, Malcolm has cast a magic spell on you or something. Oh. And what about you? Has he cast a magic love spell over you? Maybe he has. Auntie Kit, are you all right? I think I broke my ankle. Falling from the sky, she saw his wings desperate. In the storm, in the storm, power, strength, but not enough. Falling still, brought down. Striving, they're gaining life. Wings of heaven, wings to care. 
weary, wings be weary, falling down, falling down. Hope was given, she looked straight through the body and touched her soul, touch her soul, touch her. You smile upon him, catch his fire. to carry wings be weary falling down falling down wings are falling wings are flying wings are striving they're gaining life wings of heaven wings of knowledge 